Alright, I'm um, here again doing another coach review. VOD review. Looks like there's a lot of unranks. Gold and a plat. I'll fast forward here. Let's see, team comp. Doesn't have another support. Can deal with it though. The quality of this VOD doesn't look as good as the last one. I'm sorry, that's not on my end, but you don't need super good quality to talk about plays. This is good. Around this corner, you want to play really safe. Play around the corner here. Let the payload and the tanks walk up. You can just play the corner peak game. I uh, don't really have to worry too much. But right here, I would hardly be peeking them. I'd be standing close to the corner as possible and just pocketing my Rhine and hog when I can. Damage boosting my, uh, my hog to break their shield fast as well. Also, with my teammates, something I would be communicating is when we're not around the corner yet, they can get pressured back here really hard, and we can't really follow up because we aren't even around the corner to pressure the people on the roof, so they can all literally just focus fire that one person. That's how Genji died so quickly, is he probably just got focus fired. So, that'd be something I would have communicated. It's minor though, and sometimes your teammates don't listen, but it's something to get used to. Positioning is kind of okay here. You want to either play around the corner with one of your DPS or tuck yourself under big rolls whenever uh, your tanks are at this section. Because right here, Vera can literally just kill you for free, and there's not much you can do. Because the only co there's there's no cover to stand behind here. The only cover you could get to is maybe walking to the right. So you want to tuck yourself under big rolls when you can and tuck yourself back behind the wall, so if someone does walk in the door over there, you can jump to your tanks out. Because right here, yeah, Farrah is just launching rockets at the ground, and she could easily kill you, because there's nothing to hide behind, really. When your teammates aren't pushing the payload and no one's really pushed up, I'd walk, I'd just take like two steps back and be pushing it. Have more bodies on it. And I'd also be telling my tanks, get on the payload. Yes, payload, payload, payload. Don't ever leave it. Um, whenever someone's on the roof like this, you can either jump up and backwards, and then it'll give you a POV, but you can also just jump on the payload, and it'll give you a POV on top of the roof, so you can do that. Be able to jump. Because you would have been able to jump to him. Okay, that's fine. I'd be super careful here, and there's a lot of rocket spam. Two stray rockets can kill you, so try to play the corner as much as possible. Also something I didn't really mention in my last VOD, but something you should be paying attention to, is calling out when your teammates should be ulting. Uh, if everyone has no coordination, then people will just blow ults whenever they think they have a good opportunity, and so I'll try to call out, Alright guys, let's try to use Ryan and Genji ult this fight. Uh, don't worry, if you get caught, I'll res or something like that. So, okay. Um, I'm gonna go back a little bit. So, right here, there's a fight going on, so whenever you see a fight going on, you need to just like automatically pull out and see where the people are going to die, and then right here, you have two people that are like inside of you when you're wanting to go for the res. If you get killed going for the res, then it's literally wasted. You can let people die if you already have a teammate down. See, I, I talked about probably calling out alts. Random sometimes don't listen, but 
uh, telling them like what alts we should be using. They just used three alts there and got like one, two kills. But yeah, let's talk about this play a little bit more. So you want to hold your res till the very end, and so you can get multiple people. So you can either tell your teammates, all right, they're using a lot of alts, let's all gather on the payload, and if we die, it's fine, I'll res, and then we can use alts afterwards. But you come out to res the solo Reinhardt, which is okay sometimes if they've already used their alts, but you know that they have alts from how long you've been in the game. And so you're going to get alted, just keeping track of their alts that they've used, because they haven't really used anything, so it isn't too surprising that you get barraged here. And now Ryan's used his alt too, so it's always just communicating to your team what alts to use because you used five alts there and your net gain was like a kill and you didn't move the payload at all. And now when you're coming back, you don't have any alts to help push as well, so. Communicating to your team, telling them, hey, let's not use any alts this fight. If we get wiped, that's okay, I'll res. If not, we can re we can use our alts after we get rezzed, and when they already use their alts to wipe you. This is good, you want to be hiding from the pharaoh. I'd be trying to jump to a teammate if I could, right here, focusing on healing. You don't really have any teammates here, so it is r it is the right decision to be on the payload, but if you did have teammates here, you should be backing up. Hiding's good. I wouldn't peek even because I have res right now, and they just use the res. I'd be full hiding, because you see all of your teammates are coming back. If you're looking through the wall, you can see all their silhouettes walking towards you, so you don't need to risk dying. And This is alright. Yeah, I'd jump to the hog and get in this room. Alright. Then I'd probably be just hiding with res since I'm solo healing. Because if you get killed right here, your teammates can get wiped out. I'd probably ask someone to come back and taxi me. I would have maybe waited because they. So this one has 26. That was an accident. I would have maybe waited a little bit there to see if your team had, uh, if any of them were going to take any more deaths. Because right after that, um, that barrage, you played it all right, where you played safe afterwards. But they have their Ryan right there. He hasn't used Shatter in a while. Um, once you use Res, he's going to have the perfect Shatter opportunity right after. And so I might have waited because the people are probably going to blow alts if they see our teammate blow alts. So I would have waited and then played it super safe because their Ryan is super pushed up right now. You don't have a shield to hide behind. Even though your Ryan's trying to set up, he's just going to get a shatter on you. That's what happens. Be trying to hide here when you can. Trying to just corner peek your teammates. Seeing where the fair is and hiding, that's good. Ping that you have res soon is good as well. Maybe 
guy behind us. With the health kit, yep. That res is... It's a bit risky. I know you're getting ulted and you want to ult yourself, but you're so close at the end you actually want to save your ults. So... You can communicate that with your team because if you get this res off... Um, you're so close to the end that their spawns are just like really close and they can just walk back. And then it takes you... Like 15 seconds to walk back and then it takes them like 2. So... Maybe even longer, like 20 seconds, but yeah, you want to have all your alts because if you start blowing alts at the end, like haphazardly, you probably aren't going to be able to finish the map. So you want to save your alts at the end and communicate that with your team so you can uh, get the payload to the end. You build res so quickly as a solo healer, though, so it wasn't the worst decision in the world. When you're resing your teammates as well, they can start getting alt charge whenever you've res them, so. It's not the worst you build up for them though, so there's straight offs to it. I'd be sticking to the left, like in the left room whenever you see Ferro rockets coming right at you. I'd probably be jumping to the Sombra right there, that's a really good position to be at, because if anyone comes behind you, you can either jump onto the uh, Mega Health Kit right there if you need it, or you can fly back down, but whenever you're down here and flying up there, it's more risky the later it goes, because you have more people shooting at you, and it's harder to get up there. Go for the res. And this is good, but you, as soon as you go for the res, you need to be turning to see if that Sombra is still up there. You wouldn't have been able to go for the res and then jump back up there. Call out where people are right now. It's a tough call. You maybe would have been able to shoot the Pharah, but... Yeah. You don't really have anything to keep her in check. You literally have, like, Hog Hook, and that's about it. When a team's playing, like, Anna and Soldier, you at least have two threats on her. <coughs> that was a really risky route to take. You were in a lot of crossfire. Be spamming that you have res soon and telling people to go onto the payload. I probably would have left my teammates on the payload and I would have looped around and went on truck. Um. Yeah, because you were about to have res regardless, and you want to be able live to use your res. Fast forward. I can switch up. Not right now. So I love playing with double hit scan, playing Mercy, uh, because I'll tell my hit scan what to do all the time, and I'll tell them constantly stay on high ground uh, away from each other so I can jump between the two of them and also I can damage boost them and if they're both standing there I can play aggressively where I can jump and fly down to my tanks and then I can fly back up to them whenever I need to get away. But yeah, the, the payload isn't even past the corner and everyone's already dropped. Um, when you have double hit scan you want to have high ground advantage and play with it so you want everyone to be on the roof standing behind the Reinhardt shield because you will break their Reinhardt shield faster whenever you have two hit scan and a Hanzo spamming it and you can just damage boost them and they can't do anything to you but whenever you're on the ground your McCree's over here he's literally gonna just walk into like their whole enemy team I would have just told my team let's all stay on the roof we're waiting for the cart to even come around the corner it doesn't matter it always comes around the corner before we even drop onto it 
And your team's all getting low health bars because of this. Like, they're all out in the open. Reinhardt literally just jumped off the map. You want to have high ground, you want to have a soldier up there, you want to have everyone else up on the roof. It's just a mess. Communicating that with your team is very important. This is alright. That was tough. Uh, whenever their Hanzo was pushed up like that, you have to be very mindful of what alts they're going to use and like hearing what they're using. So you see, let me see when we see the Hanzo. Oh, I think he casts it through the wall. Okay. As soon as you start hearing an alt, though, you just need to like back away because a lot of people will throw Hanzo alt like at the payload. You also could have flown to the soldier, he had a health kit down as well, so you could have flown to it and like survived in the Hanzo wall for like a second longer, just getting healed from that. It's not too bad though, because your, your whole team was out of position, so... Right here, I'd, yeah, I'd definitely jump to him to close the gap so I can start to get uh, in position to res. I probably would have rezzed the two people, would have flown to the soldier and then rezzed. Because whenever you're thinking about rezzing, you always need to consider how many numbers they have, how many numbers we will get after the res, and like if that's advantageous for us, like using the alts. This guy popped all nice damage boosting him. something minor there, but whenever someone's running away, like the soldier there was sprinting, and you were still damage boosting him, you need to flick to like heal immediately, because damage boosting him while he's running away isn't doing anything. Also, I usually just tend to heal squishies whenever they aren't full HP, and then damage boost them when they're just shooting or whenever they're full. That was good, you heard the Hansa Walt and walked to the side. Again, he shot it like directly at the payload, which was smart. You just want to hide, yeah. I think whenever you are hearing alts, you just want to like take your hand off the beam. You know, you want to be healing people, but you already have your res, and you just want to like stay hidden. And so, in that back little cubby, there wasn't a lot you can do since Pharaoh was already above, but you wanted to like stop healing to give your position away. Even if they already did know you were there. So whenever you see this, and you probably know it's going to get taken, you already want to be telling your team, not Reinhardt to do this, but get up on high ground. You still have long range. You want to be abusing that. These people are always on the ground. You need personally I would just tell them get up on high ground we want to be using our high ground advantage you don't need to contest this little cubby area you never almost contest this unless you're planning on alting onto them like immediately right here as soon as they walk in but most of the time you don't do that because it's super risky because you can get caught in that choke Since everyone's moderately healthy here, I probably would have damage boosted the Hanzo ult. Just to give it that extra one-shot potential. And your teammate's way too far forward right here, I would have been just telling them, spamming them, just say go back. Your team not being in high ground means that the Pharah can flank behind and, yeah, do a lot of damage. See, this is how Mercy can, like, get snowballed on, is if you don't position right for one fight, you miss the big res and you die with your team, 
and then the next portion of the map everyone is staggered and say like one person gets caught out you don't really want to solo res them so you end up just holding res for a long time and then it's a lot of time passes before your next opportunity to res so you have to really make a good advantage good use of when you have your ult since you were already getting shot at there I probably would have flown to the soldier he had his heal pack down maybe you could have survived team wasn't in that good of a position though so I'd probably just sit up here and let my team die and just tell them to die on the payload because you can play this corner right here and then drop. I, yeah, I definitely wouldn't be this far up showing and trying to heal. You want your teammates to die so you can make the value res. Because you can also be in a safe split, in a safe position if you do res and all these three people died. If they're using ults afterwards, you can stay out of range of them and then drop after whenever your teammates have already taken damage, because when they're res, they're full HP, so they don't need to be healed. Just yet. Yeah, I would've jumped. You can jump and then use your Guardian Angel, and it like gives you like a better angle on people who are standing on that catwalk. Or just jump on the payload to get up there. And be hiding in the bar when you can, so you're not taking rocket damage. So you're telling your team you have res. Yeah, team was generally out of position and the fair is not being dealt with, so there's not a lot you can do there. Since you saw all of them pushing up, you probably should have packed, but you weren't in a position to, so... Yeah, you want to stay on the truck when you can. It's a really good position. When you drop into this cubby, it's like a shooting gallery, where if your Ryan's not holding shield, then you can just get shot at. And I'll be telling my team to back up. This isn't a good uh, place to hold. Because you can get ulted and then almost they can finish the map. To play back a little bit around the corner. So as soon as you see this, this, this is good, he pops his ult, but you need to be like pulling away as soon as you see them res. So you can get ready for your res to come up. So yeah, just stick with the zen. But I'd still just be backing up. It's a good jump. I'd probably be looking to hide here and just letting my team die. They already used res, so... Either that or I would have res right there to have the numbers as I think one person on their team died and so it'd be 6v5 and you'd have the advantage. It would have also kept you alive from the Pharah. Swiping the kills. I'd still be playing like really safe right now. Good job, guys. Nice job. 
Yeah, that's it. Okay. It wasn't too bad. It's definitely some position mistakes and things you could have communicated, but altogether not too bad.